Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about BGP loop prevention mechanism and how it uses the split horizon feature and the AS path attribute of the BGP protocol to avoid loop. We all know that BGP by default is a loop free protocol. It's running the biggest network in the world, internet, and uh, it has built in feature within itself to avoid any sort of routing loops. So let's look into it in more details. So this is our same slide that we have been discussing in previous videos as well. So what we have is like we have IBGP in the above cloud between these three routers and we are running eBGP sessions between AS100 to AS200 over here, uh, between AS100 to AS300. So let's try to understand that uh, there is one loopback IP address let's call it like 1.1.1.1, which router R1 is advertising to the AS200 via its eBGP session. Uh, and then the R21 will, will be advertising the same loopback IP address to all its eBGP sessions. So let's first talk about the split horizon rule over here. So let's say like this. So any route that this R21 learns from its BGP neighbor IBGP session, let's say it learns from its IBGP session R23, this 10.22.23.1. So R1, R21 is learning a route from its neighbor R23 via IBGP session. Split horizon rule tells us do not advertise this route to its another IBGP session. So anything learned from IBGP session will not be advertised to other IBGP sessions. However, anything learned from IBGP session will be advertised to eBGP router. Sure, that's fine. And also anything learned from eBGP session, let's say this loopback IP address, will be advertised by R21 to its R23 neighbor. Next is there is another feature within the uh, BGP protocol which is the AS path. Now we have in previous video, we have discussed about a BGP attribute that what we call as AS path attribute. Now let me explain how it works. So let's say this router R1 is advertising a prefix or a route connected to itself, to its neighbor R21. Whenever it advertises a route to a eBGP neighbor, it is going to append AS path to it it is going to append its own AS in the AS path and send it to the neighbor. So let me take a pen over here and let's see uh, what it is going to advertise. So it's going to advertise this prefix with the AS path right now as on having only AS100 in it. R21 it's, is obviously going to advertise to R22 and R23 because these are the IBGP sessions. R23 is going to advertise the same to R3. Why? Because this is eBGP session. So the rule says anything coming from iBGP session or being learned from another AS, it is going to advertise to the uh, eBGP session. So uh, when this the same prefix is being advertised to AS300, so it is going to have the AS path as 100 and then AS number 200 in it. And then AS 300 is going to do the same thing. It is going to advertise the same prefix back to AS 100. But when it's advertising it back to AS 100, it is going, the AS path will look like something like this 100, 200, and then on top 300 because 300 is the AS number of R3. Now, once, uh, once this R1 router is going to receive this advertisement, it is going to see its own AS number over here. And that's the reason why R1 is going to discard it. It will not accept it. I can, let's, let's bring the routers in our network so that we can see these working in, in our lab topology. So, yeah. So let's look into R1. Okay. And like the, if we do show IP interface brief, we will see that this 111 is a loopback zero IP address over here. Now we know that it, it is being advertised to the AS200 
uh, because we have show IP BGP summary. So we do have neighbors to the uh, AS300 and AS200 as well. So it's being sent to AS200 and let's and then from AS200 it is going back to the R3 router. So let's look into the R3 over here and let's see what R3 is going to advertise it. Uh, it what R3 is going to advertise to the neighbor R1. So the 10.1.3.1 is the neighbor IP address. Let's see advertise routes. So we do see over here that the network 1111 slash 32 is being advertised and the AS path over here is 200 100 as we were talking earlier uh, on the on the presentation slide. Now let's come back on the R1 and see let's see what R1 is receiving over here. So we have the receive route command. So yeah, let's see the receive route command. In the receive route command, what we see is that we don't receive any of these like 1.1.1 is not being received. Not only 1.1.1, anything which is coming from AS100, like all these entries which are having AS100 are being sent by R3 to R1. But in the R1 receive routes command, uh, we don't see any of these prefixes. So this is how it's demonstrating that uh, using the AS path attribute, BGP is going to avoid the loop. Uh, there are more mechanisms for loop prevention in BGP protocol. Uh, we will discuss in the route reflector. I was thinking to add it in the same slide, but I thought this route reflector topic will deserve its own video. So. Uh, route reflector also have some stuff known as cluster IDs. So it is going to use the cluster ID to uh, IDs to avoid the loop. Uh, we also have topics like uh, route reflector and confed uh, configurations, uh, which we will discuss in future videos. Now, if in case you like the video, share it with your coworkers, share it with your colleagues. And if you like to learn more, you will see some links on the left and please feel to watch them. Thank you.